Well, hello and welcome to Grumpy Guy Metal Detecting. Um, got my detector put together the other day. I came out and believe it or not, which was right there, the first hole that I dug, the first item that I pulled out of the ground with this detector was a 1973 nickel. I mean, how good, how lucky was that? I mean, not even, not, not a pull tab, not a bottle top, but a nickel. And I'm going to be detecting, learning this metal detector in this backyard here before I, you know, make a drive down to the beach or anywhere. But I got a big backyard. You know, I can learn a lot. And I just started, uh, um, doing it this morning and here is a penny um, not sure what year it is the face is wore out pretty you can't really see it it's just a regular penny um, not a wee penny or nothing can't see the can't see the year on it yet gonna have to clean that sucker up but um yeah, there we go. My second second target with this. Uh, I'm getting a lot of chatter in here. Uh, probably a lot of iron. Like I said, I don't think this yard's ever been detected, so there's a lot of crap in it. But, um, yeah, there we go. My first target. Uh, I'll get back to you on the next. Well, I've gone from there to here bunch of junk um, got dug this hole I gotta work on my hole sizes and got this penny it's a uh, I see a little Canadian leaf on it um, yeah so it's a Canadian penny I don't know what year it's pretty I'm gonna have to get it cleaned up and take a look at it but it's pretty bad so okay there's my next right there all right, I see you guys on the next. Well, got uh, got me another penny here. Um, almost up to the wall. Dig hole. I got, <laughs> like I said, I got to work on uh, my hole digging size. It's um, it's just a, uh, it's not a weedy. It's just a regular. I don't know the name of what's in penny, but penny. Uh, um, yeah, just a, it's a regular old penny. This time it's not been electrocuted or something, tortured. Like all, a lot of these other pennies have been tortured. I mean, it looks like someone just took, like, uh, two electric wires and just was zapping them and frying those other pennies. Um, kind of really weird. Um, but I'm going to continue on. I think I'm, I'm going to check this tree a little bit better. And then, uh move probably over in this section because I just came up this section here not use that finger I came up the first day this way and now I came up this section and I'm gonna go up this section here and see if I get anything okay well I see you on the next just dig, dig this one that penny I was saying come around the tree here had a pretty hard signal 70s and up <laughs> got me a got me a free scraper plastic handle so I haven't been here all that long I mean so I think it's plastic yeah I'm pretty sure it's plastic handle otherwise it'd probably be rotting a lot more but yeah huh. I guess uh take the uh, not so great things with the good things all right uh, see you on the next well I just uh, started down this path like I said I'm gonna go over to there um, found um, another signal and it's a penny um, I'm sure if that's just highly corroded in here you can't see that too good. I'm gonna work on my focus, but wow. Um, and these aren't old. 
I mean, um, these are, I don't know if it has anything to do with the, my trees, my magnolia trees, or the, the leaves acidic. Um, I mean, I have no dirt in this backyard. It's basically all sand. But a lot of these pennies are like really ate up. Um, yeah, I just can't focus in on that, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't focus in on it very, very good. Oh, there it goes. You can see it's all chewed up. Um, it's like someone's taking a high voltage and just zapping them for the fun of it. I don't know, but okay. Well, uh, see you on that. I'm going to stop here pretty soon. i got to go to work, but uh, I'll go a little longer. See you on the next. All right. I'm getting the... Getting a little bit better at pulling a plug, huh? <laughs> it's hard because it's, it's uh, like I said, this ain't sand. I mean, this ain't dirt, sand. Um, can you see it? This is down there, ways too. Um, incredible. It's just a uh, normal penny, nothing, nothing special. Um, looks like a eighties. I can't really see eighty-five. Yeah, uh, no, there you go, Penny. Okay, oh, I was down there a ways too, huh? All right, um, I'm gonna go real fast, try to finish this up, and then call it a day. So, see you hopefully on the next. Hey guys, uh, well, I'm back at it out here in my yard. Um, this time, I dug that <clears throat> first. I got. Big old, big old little aluminum can. Dug it right there, right there. Got a penny right there. Got another signal right there. But this is, it looks like a, it's heavy too. I mean, it probably has something crushed in it. It could be. Um, it's a bell. I can see where a little, a little, little end on it there. A little bell. Um, I'm not sure what it's made out of. But like I said, it's pretty heavy. Um, well, it's kind of cool. I'll clean it up and try to open it up and get the gunk out of it. And see what I can make of it. But yeah. Alright. Um, see you. Alrighty. Well, we're going to do the wrap up here. Um, actually, it's kind of hard to say a wrap up because, I mean, uh, I originally was out in the backyard, I think, like back in July 24. And now this is October 13. I've done a little lot more metal detecting than um, than uh, what you just seen in the backyard. I've been to Jack's, Jack's Beach uh, a few times learning um, down there. Uh, didn't really have a good camera for record making recordings. I was just using my handheld uh, camera. Um, and but now I got me a GoPro that I'm going to be using. Um, all these amazing attachments. Uh, my wife got this for me. Um, chest attachment. That's a head attachment, another head that you just put on your head. Um, yeah, uh, for a car for a car window, I guess. A wrist a wrist attachment. I have that old clamp. Oh, here it is for the ball cap attachment. But here, here we go. So um, here's all the finds in my backyard. Um, the can you see that on previous video i found the scraper on the chisel little garden tool big chunks of metal here uh this thing here which someone said it was a bullet but you know what i don't i don't know i'm not uh expert but you can't really see it but it has um threads on the inside there whether or not that's a bullet or not i, I don't know little car um 
these coins belong over there. Um, yeah, a bunch of wiring adapters that would cut. Um, nothing of any interest. Uh, the little bell that I'm not showing it, I did clean it up and it was a bell um, from the, yeah, the almost the last clip. And then a bunch of us, uh, one of these weights came out from the backyard, um, but most of this from the beach. Um, Jack's Beach has a lot of this this iron just in the ground and it's big and it's thick and it gives up really good ring sometimes. Um, uh, a coin from, where is this from? Public of Ecuador coin I found down at Jack's Beach. And then all these uh, quarters, some of them came out of my backyard as you probably, probably these three, the darkest ones, maybe four, and some came out of the out of Jack's Beach. All um, my dimes. I mean, these out of my backyard, the real dark ones. That's out of my backyard, and I took the rest out of um, the beach. In my first first find ever, like I was saying, that was amazing. Um, first first. First find, first dig, and it happens to be some money. I guess I hope that's a good uh, good sign. But so far, I've been kind of, I've been to Jack's Beach, I think, um, three times, and I've, <laughs> the, four times, actually. The last time, I was almost totally skunked, um, just really bad. I still have to get a technique going down for, um, or, you know, metal detecting on a beach. I want to go to like St. Augustine and get away from this beach detecting. And the beach detecting is all right, but I also want to do relic detecting. So um, I want to find someone that has like a little farm down there that I can do um, their, their farmland, you know, somewhere in St. Augustine. Uh, here's a shovel that you've seen from my unboxing video. I took it out the first time and this this all got bent, bent in, bent in. Everything got bent in. Um, it's not a very good shovel, it, you know. Um, so what I did, I took this clamp, put it in there from the outside here, and I just put the screws on it and um, yeah, clamped it down really tight. So the, the, the C-clamp went up and pushed the top part. And now this thing's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's really sturdy. Now you can push down on it and you can't, you're not gonna, you're not gonna bend it. Um, but yeah, I mean, 35 bucks I paid for this little knee-high scoop. Um, I know I, it wasn't in the soft sand, the dry sand. I did try it in the wet sand. It was an extremely wet sand, but it was, and I dug it down in, and I used my foot, and it just crushed this top down. Um, like I said, you know, uh, I don't, I don't want to blame. It's thirty-five bucks. I bought it online. Didn't see the quality too good online. Thought it, you know, took a chance. It's kind of crap, I guess. For for very for the dry powdery sand, it, yeah, sure, it'll work. But it's only knee high, so you still got to bend over a little bit. But um, you know, it is what it is. But so that's it. Um, got my GoPro now, um, so I will be recording all my beach stuff from now on. Um, so I look forward to all of you. Um, uh given any comments whatever that you see uh giving a like to the video and um i will see you on my next recording and thanks for watching and the name of my channel would be grumpy guys detecting yeah the other grumpy guys metal detecting i think is too long so don't like it so just grumpy guys detecting all right thanks for watching and see you on the next